I think residency is such a wonderful time because it's a time where we grow, you know, clinically, we grow surgically, but also grow personally. When I interviewed here, that was kind of the moment where I realized I think this is the place for me. The people I interview with made me feel comfortable, the residents seems happy, and everyone here is here for the same goal, which is to provide excellent care. When I was a medical student, I did a rotation here after having seen a bunch of other programs. And to me, there was no other program that compared to Minnesota. So I was just blown away here by the autonomy that the residents had, and how happy everybody seemed, how family-oriented everybody was. So I basically just went on interviews to see if I could find an, another Mayo Clinic anywhere else, and I couldn't. There is no place in the world that offers the degree of medical training education, and research that we can perform at Mayo Clinic. This is a special place. One of the unique features of our residency program is the preceptorship model, such that day one, you are one-on-one -on -one with a faculty member. You are going to their clinic. You're making decisions on those patients, on who to operate on. You're going to their OR, you're taking care of those patients postoperatively, and you're seeing them back in follow-up. Another advantage of Mayo Clinic Urology Residency Program is that you really can do anything you want to do. You have six years to figure out what you love, what you're passionate about, so that you can go out feeling confident that you feel like there's nothing that you can't do when you're done. We don't just do robotics, we lead in robotics. We want to train you to be doctors, to be surgeons, to have our trainees focus on what they need to learn, and they need to learn the clinical and procedural portions of urology to truly excel. We want to train leaders in endoscopic surgery, in laparoscopic surgery, in image-guided focal therapies, and in open surgery. So it's critically important that our trainees have exposure to all of these different approaches. If somebody just came into the operating room once in a while, we wouldn't know what their skill level is. When I have somebody for eight, nine, ten weeks straight, I can really see where they start and teach them things to make them better as they go along. So by the end, every one of our trainees leaves here ready to hit the ground running, whether they're going off to fellowship to fine tune some skills or if they're going off to private practice. We have numerous opportunities to hone uh, your surgical skills outside of the operating room. We have uh, simulation labs that expose residents to some of the innovative uh, procedures and cutting edge technology in urology. I think that people here will just push you. They'll know what your limits are, but they want to push you to become a better surgeon, a better person. They'll lead you through tough parts of the case. They'll let you struggle a little bit, but kind of figure things out as you're going along. In terms of research, you'll get as many opportunities as you're open to. Sometimes it'll stretch you, but it's all just to make you better. One of the strengths of Mayo's research program is, is, is its breadth. So typically what we do is we have our residents and fellows meet with various faculty to discuss research areas of interest. And oftentimes residents will choose multiple faculty as mentors for different types of research projects that they might find of interest to themselves. We're tailoring the research here really to match the individual resident's area of interest, be that basic science, be that health care research or health policy research, health economics, or health science research. The breadth and depth of the experience you get here, I would have to argue is next to none. We offer every single subspecialization of urology, and it's being provided by faculty that are fellowship trained and at the pinnacle of their game. That's an important consideration when you're looking at other programs, is to look at case volume and to look at what that residency can offer for you. Our program here at Mayo Clinic is extremely unique in that we have three men's health providers to cover all things men's health. And what that means for the residents is they get excellent exposure to not only sexual medicine, but Peyronie's disease, male infertility, chronic testicular pain, and a lot of other management for benign conditions. And so for the residents, it means they get excellent surgical volume, which really helps as they're going through the process of trying to learn these things. I definitely believe that I made the best choice coming here to Mayo Clinic. 
One amazing opportunity that I have had is to go to the GRIT conference twice now during residency, which is a Mayo in general sponsored conference for women in medicine that has been very inspiring and meaningful as well as a great bonding experience for the women in our program. Resident wellness is extremely important, not just for work-life balance, but for planning ahead. If you don't teach somebody how to incorporate personal wellness into their training program, they might struggle when they go off into practice, whether it's fellowship and academics, or if it's in a private practice. So here, we really support developing a really wellness-centric atmosphere, making sure that everybody's taking care of themselves, because if you can't take care of yourself, then you can't take care of others. Residency is demanding in general on all levels. Um, you add raising a family to that, it's much more challenging. So our, our residency program uh, is family oriented. Uh, they provide a caring, supportive, and flexible environment. In Rochester, we found uh, very easy living and uh, accommodating for families. This is an amazing place to live. And even though you might not see yourself in the middle of Minnesota, all of the residents that come here, who come from all over the country, come here and really embrace Minnesota life. There are so many things you'll get to enjoy for this very short period of time, and then go off and live and practice wherever you're going to for the rest of your career. Come to a place like this, experience what we have to offer, and at the end of the day, everybody leaves here an extremely well-trained urologist. So my best advice to give someone applying to urology this year is to relax. Enjoy the process and create friendships within this group because these are people that you'll be working with through the rest of your career. They say uh, time flies when you're having fun, right? Um, and this has been a, a fun ride so far. I would say the strength of our program comes from the, the faculty and the diversity of offerings that we provide our trainees with really the goal in mind that we prepare them to be outstanding clinicians, terrific doctors, great people, and leaders in the field going forward.